Yes, guys, welcome to the next lesson. So in this one, uh, we're going to be moving on to distributions. So as compared to what we saw in accumulations, uh, distributions is simply when we're selling, accumulation is when we're buying. Now, of course, just to remind you, we have to do this um, at a certain point of interest. And generally, it would mean that we're doing this on the lower time frames. Now, again, the terminology is going to be a similar in some way, but you've got uh, a bit of a change with some of them. So the PSY is going to be preliminary supply. Then you've got the buying climax. Uh, remember last time how we had selling climax, we've got buying climax this time. The AR produces that range. So remember the consolidation that we're talking about. We get that between the buying climax and the either the PSY or the AR. Now, what we start to see is um, the automatic rally, of course, down. Secondary test up. So price is still consolidating within here. So you have no confirmation of any bearish structure at the moment. Then once this happens, you start to see um, a sign of weakness in phase B. So what that may be is a slight break of structure down. Now, the issue with this is once you get that break of structure, you're still within this point of interest, right? So your point of interest might be this big, for example, or even further than that. And you've only got that slight sign of weakness down. Now, this sign of weakness may not could be um, a strong one. For example, this right here, where it actually blows past this AR and PSY. Or it can simply just be a wick, which is what we would see as a liquidity grab. That liquidity is grabbed from there. Price goes back up to take this buy side liquidity at the top in in a form of a ut then you start to see more consolidation so price just keeps flowing like this within this range now the difference with the first schematic as you know there's two types of main schematics that we look at with this schematic you get that ut right at the top now like i said the problem with schem uh, wyckoff schematics is you won't understand which type you're in until after phase C. So phase D, like I've been mentioning all this time, that's the key area that you want to be entering on. So the UTAD is an up, so the UT is the up thrust. That up thrust takes the buy side liquidity, as we said. Then the up UTAD is up thrust after distribution. So you even get a run on liquidity right here. And this is really entering into the premium range of the order block, which is what we love to see because we want to be trading as premium as possible for sales, right? So we get this tiny uh, reaction from the top, takes that liquidity, goes down, breaks some kind of internal structure down, keeps breaking. But the main point that we want to see is a break of SOW within phase B. So the lowest point that we've seen throughout this consolidation, that's the break that we want to see. And that's exactly what we get in the sign of weakness right there. So once we get the sign of weakness, it has to be a clean, clean break. It can't be one of these wicks. It can't be any of that. It has to be an actual breakthrough. Perhaps price goes down a bit. Then price will come back up to either retrace to whatever level you've got um, entering. But what we look at is something that I'm going to be teaching you and how to actually get into these trades in one of the case studies that I'm going to be looking at. Uh, then, of course, the last point of supply is the last points that you get here. You can call these tests. You can call these last point of supplies. But what it is, is that final point before you actually start distributing downwards. Uh, if you remember back to our lesson before this, when we were learning about the laws, usually you'd start to see an increase of volume. Um, you, you might not get this in every single Wyckoff uh, schematic, uh, but it would just be an extra confirmation that you can take a look at. So for the first one, like we said, it's the UTAD. Um, like I said, wait till you actually get confirmation that you've got a complete breakdown um, because at this point, you're honestly guessing. If you've got your entry here and your stop loss there, what happens, price breaks straight through. So you would see a loss right there. But you don't know whether UTAD is going to happen. 
so that's the main difference and of course like i'm saying wait for the final stages the second type is where UT uh, the ut is respected so you get to that premium area right there and you enter and it's safe and it keeps going down now i can't tell you whether you see more of these whoops I can't tell you whether you see more of these schematics or these schematics. This changes obviously from trade to trade, uh, but of course, keep this in the back of your mind. If you really wanted to print these off as well, so you actually know the difference of what you're seeing. Uh, I remember when I was learning Wyckoff in the beginning, <laughs> I was really confused that, especially the labeling of this. But if I, if I could right now, forget all the labeling right now, actually forget what it is because Simply what Wyckoff is, is market structure. It's a fancy way of labeling every single part. And people love to go over the top with Wyckoff. They love to say, oh yes, now we've seen the up for us, now we get this, that. No, all it is, is a clear understanding of, first of all, liquidity points. So you've got buy, um, buy side liquidity, sell side liquidity, then you've got equal highs. And then you've got trend line liquidity that we look at as well. This is exactly the type of liquidity points that you've got to understand. You've got to understand how the composite man actually uh, plays around with this liquidity, if you wanted to say so. And then understand where we get that confirmation to start seeing selling. So yeah, guys, that's it for accumulations and distributions. Next, we're going to be looking at reaccumulations and redistributions. So yeah, guys, take care and I'll see you in the next video.